All right, the next thing we're gonna do is remove the sodium vapor. But I've been looking into this thing and apparently like Hollywood uses this filter in front of their lens called the Hollywood filter. It's like a pro mist filter. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take off the sodium vapor and leave the tungsten in there, but we're gonna put a filter in front of our lens and see what that looks like and see the difference between without the filter and then with the filter. So let's go. Oopsie. Okay. Don't look at it. Oh my God, don't do it. Okay. So I'm probably gonna have to back this up. All right, so we're gonna read light meter. Here you go. And this is the filter that I'm talking about. It's a Tiffin filter, it's a Pro Mist, and it's, you're about to see what it looks like. So yeah. yeah, gotcha. 4.5, so that means I can actually turn down. All right, one more. A little bit more. There you go, 4.0. Let's go. I'm gonna put that away. We're gonna set our lens to 4.0. Mm -hmm. Boom. All right. Now we're gonna record without the filter first. All right. Ready? All righty. Three, two, one, action. Now we're gonna install the ProMist filter, or the Hollywood filter, whatever you want to call it. This is a quarter ProMist, black ProMist. Trying to figure out how to open it. And really, you just put it in front of it. Oh no! I'm gonna have to refocus because I jacked that up. I twisted it. All right. So we're gonna refocus her real quick. And now we're gonna record with a black promise filter in there. Okay, three, two, one, action. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the pro mist on there for now. So we have that recorded. All right, so the next set setup we're gonna do is, you will probably see this in television, it's the dashboard lighting setup. We're still gonna use the same backlight, we're not gonna move that at all. But we're